This museum we're in is patrolled by guards. Huh? Right. So we have to be careful if we're going to steal Cleopatra's amulet. Shh. Footsteps. Turn for torch. No one will see us behind this pillar. Shh. Oh, look at the shadow on the door. Must be the guard shadow. He must be out there. Yeah, but he's coming in here where we are. And we're in danger of being found out. Quiet. If he hears our voices, he'll know we're both here. Shh. He's coming in here. <laughs> Here I am. Uh, where's my flashlight? Ah, uh, here it is in my hand. Just turn it on. Anyone there? Don't answer him. <laughs> no one here. I'd better check Cleopatra's amulet. Yes, it all appears in order. Well, I'd better get back to my post. It's hard work being a security guard. And I am one. He's gone. He doesn't know we're here. Quick, I'll turn the torch on again. There, I've done it. monkey wrench out of the tool bag. I've done it. Here it is in my hand. Take it from me now. Good, I have it. I'm going to smash the glass of the display case and we're going to steal Cleopatra's amulet. Oh, we're going to be rich when we sell this on the black market. Oh, yeah. Smash the glass now. You have the wrench? I will. I'm smashing the cabinet now. There, I've broken the glass with a monkey wrench. Listen, the sound of alarm bells going off here in the museum that we've broken into. That we're in now. Hurry, I can hear the footsteps of the guard coming back to where we are. I'll steal Cleopatra's amulet. Good, steal Cleopatra's amulet now. I am. There, it's in the bag. We've stolen it. Good, let's escape through the back window before we get caught. Let's escape now. <laughs> Just coming back in again. I was at my guard post when I heard the alarm bells. Cleopatra's amulet's been stolen. The thieves of the amulet must have been hiding in here when I came in here before. They didn't answer my question about whether there was anyone here so that I wouldn't know there was anyone here. <laughs> now there's been an amulet robbery. That's a crime. <laughs> Seen there from the award-winning Aussie drama series Bad Crime, and I'm joined by a writer, producer of the series Cobalt Martin. Uh, congratulations! I hear, I hear you've had an overseas sale. Mm. Bad Crime's been sold in uh, Poland. Right. Yes, and, uh, we're very proud of that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's not our first success overseas, of course. We've had uh, Constable Team and Arrest Those Thieves. They're both on screens in Norway. I love Arrest Those Thieves. It's great, isn't it? Yeah. Fantastic. We're also doing a deal with Cable in Canada. Mm -hmm. I can't say too much at this stage, but they really are looking at taking quite a few kilos of our product. Fantastic. <laughs> so it's 50 episodes a year, mm -hmm. as well as the other programs you make. Um, is bad crime difficult to produce? No. No, not at all. Uh, commercial hour of television is only 43 minutes, don't forget. Uh, within that, you've got opening titles and closing credits. They're about a minute and a half each. Mm -hmm. Then you've got shots of doorways opening, close-ups of phones ringing, uh, cars leaving, that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. Holding on expressions as you go to a break, that all comes to about uh, ten minutes. <laughs> so it really only leaves you with about half an hour of program to fill. The ten minutes to set it up, ten minutes to solve it, and uh, ten minutes of unresolved sexual tension. Right, right. <laughs> uh, how long does it take you to write each hour? Uh, about 45 minutes. Right. <laughs> but look, I don't want to give the impression that it's just me out there putting this all together. We really do have a, a, a great team behind us. Uh, our typists, they're very fast. <laughs> our sales team are excellent. Mm -hmm. uh, there really is a lot of talented people working in this industry in this country. Mm. A acting talent? Yeah. Well, we work around that, obviously. <laughs> cool, well, thank you. And uh, just a reminder that tonight's celebrity pet is... Michael Kroger's Catfish.